Hey, yo, what's going on, y'all? I just want to make a quick little video. I know the quality is super dark. Um, I'm on like a little five minute break real quick. But first of all, let me say I really, really, really appreciate people that's really been fucking with me on this YouTube shit on my wig journey. I appreciate all the love I've been getting, all the support, all the likes, all the comments, people reaching out, people following me on IG, bro, all that shit, right? I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm really fucking with y'all, man. So with all that being said, bruh, you got to really, in your mind, have a reason that solidifies you getting wicks or dreads or whatever the case may be, right? So for me, I'm in a profession where, number one, it ain't many, um, it ain't many instructors that look like me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I knew getting wigs, bruh, is really just going to set me apart from everybody, and uh, this shit really about just individuality, dog. It's about being yourself. It's about being free and not falling into conformity. You know what I'm saying? So I knew once I officially became a massage instructor, I said, you know what? I'm just going to let my hair do what it's going to do. I'm going to be me regardless. Uh, and I'm not I'm not going to let, you know, that whole professional set and step in, you know, step in the way of me being happy. You know what I'm saying? And me uh, enjoying you know, my motherfucking hair, bro, some shit that grow out my scalp, so, for me, that was, that was the only reason I needed, to be different, you know what I'm saying, to hopefully one day be successful enough where I'm inspiring, you know, other people that look like me, other people that want to get dreads or wicks, you know, and they, and they got that fear, bro, because we already know how this hair is viewed, you know what I'm saying, by society, you really can't see it right now, but we already know how, our, excuse me, we already know how our hair is viewed by people in society, um, we already know that at the end of the day, people are judging us based off what type of hairstyle we rocking. So I really want to be, you know, one of the people, man, that's knocking down them barriers, dog, and letting people know that it's okay to love your hair. It's okay to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to do that and never feel pressured or never feel, um, you know, oppressed or suppressed, you know, because you loving your hair, you letting your hair do whatever your hair is doing and you being free and you're not falling into that into that um into that stereotype man you know you can have hair like mine and still be successful you feel me so that's really what made it like permanent like i'm for sure growing wigs you know because i know one day bro you know i'm gonna have you know young kids uh you know that see me that say damn like you know if she can do it i know for sure i can do it you know what i'm saying we just out here knocking down barriers dog and that's just what it is man so i really just want to say that um i'll make a more in-depth video maybe um it depends but i just want to let y'all know bro if y'all trying to get into a professional setting bro don't let your fucking hair hold you back from doing whatever it is you want to do because people are going to judge how your hair looks regardless so wear your hair how you want to wear it feel good about it feel motherfucking great about some shit that's growing out of your scalp all right y'all be well man peace